Hi everyone, this is the uh, build video for the slightly ill-fated uh, low-profile rotary table that I did for the Toolfest competition back in November. Um, there's a video up there somewhere, um, uh, which is the one that I released at the time, uh, just to show people what I'd done. Um, and in it, I promised to show you the build. Um, I finally got round to editing that all together. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. So before I got into the main build for this, I wanted to show you the, the design that I sort of came up with prior to um, the, the final one, which was this one. Um, this is sort of where I want to go with this uh, rotary table. Um, we've got a, a reed head here out of a digital protractor. Um, and the idea was to remote that out to the front panel here. Uh, so the display that was normally mounted here, I'd make a little ribbon cable or something, connect it up up here, and it, you'd get a digital rotary table, um, which sounds like a really nice idea. However, I was struggling um, with exactly how to implement this um, and how to manufacture the metalwork um, and so on. So I had to redesign it. Um, just to the point where it was easy to make um, because I knew I'd run out of time, basically. Um, it's, and I wanted to get something submitted for the, the tool fest. Uh, so I quickly re-engineered uh, it to be as easy to manufacture as possible. So I, I broke it down into parts. So we've got a base, we've got the spigot with the bearing, um, the table presses on, and then you've got the the block which just screws onto the base and the screw which goes through and um, I made these parts as effectively about as straightforward as I could um, in order to mean that I could complete this um, in the end it was a little over a, a day so that's the design that I made um, it didn't quite turn out like that uh, as you as you saw um, but um, here's the video of uh, of all these bits getting made.
final assembly, well, I've managed to screw on one of the blocks. Um, I ballsed at the whole position, so that one doesn't fit. Um, I also forgot to do these two, so uh, running out of time. But uh, I've press fitted the, um, the bearing spigot into the, the plate. The table should just press on. And then right, I think that's going to need some um, copper slip or something to stop it seizing up. Steel on aluminium, lovely combination. Um, I hope you enjoyed that um, now as it is at the moment it's not a very good design I basically did rushed rushed it too much so I'm going to take some time to uh, go back over it and come up with a, a much better design uh, there are a few things that I learned you know it's a worthwhile exercise from that point of view um, a one millimeter pitch screw although it um, made for a nice uh, Mathematically made for a good size, a sensible size wheel, and I could get 360 um, uh, threads around the outside of this uh, this size disc. Um, it's incredibly slow turning it round. I think my um, my normal um, uh, rotary table, which is just over here, I think it's four degrees per rotation. So you only have to turn it 90 times rather than 360 times to get it all the way around. So. Um, I'm going to look at how to do that and I've had a couple of interesting ideas um, but there's quite a lot of other stuff to do before that so this is going on the back burner for now if you are particularly interested please let me know and I will spend more time on it and try and get it done sooner um, it's something I want to do anyway so it will happen um, I was kind of annoyed with myself that I didn't um, get the result that I'd imagined uh, but there we are um, I learned quite a lot about my machines and um, how not to do something doing that so so anyway um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one